channel. So we're looking at a bunch of invitations that are already pre-made in Canva for you to use as is. Go and get printed using your printer, but you probably don't want to do is send it off to a printer. I opened these up in Canva and all I did was put invitation and these are the ones that popped up. So we've got 30th birthday, a light colored one. We've got black colors. You can customize this template if you want to make it work for you with that size. The matte finish, standard paper. You can send that to the printers through Canva or you can actually download this as a PDF and take it to your own printers. But let's have a look at say, hmm, maybe something like this one here. This one's quite pretty. It's made on a black background, which I quite like. And I'm gonna make one myself. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to use this create a blank invitation. So let's open it up. And you can always check the file size. I'm going to magic switch and I'm going to make it a five by seven, which is pretty standard. So it's going to look similar to this. There it is, I believe. That is a nice portrait style. As you can see, I'm already looking at some five by seven portrait type of invitations here and they're all amazing. But I'm gonna make my own because I just love making my own. You can still use these if you want. So let's start from scratch. We're going to go into elements and I'm going to put up here gold stars. You see all of these beautiful little gold stars up here and I'm gonna look for something for the top of my page. This looks good and this is pro. Of course there will be some that aren't pro and if you want to you go to all, you go up to these little settings up here and then you can click free and you still got some amazing elements here so you're not bereft of anything but I'm gonna go pro we're going to select this copy and paste I'm going to overlap so it's perfect then I'm going to paste again and move it over to the side and overlap again so that looks good I'm going to select all three of them I'm going to move them slightly up and then I'm going to press copy and paste again so three of them have been printed then I'm going to go up to flip and then flip vertically so it looks great both sides I'm going to move these up a tad and I'm going to move these down a tad now I'm going to make a black background all I do is go into elements then I go to the little square go up to the corner go right down to the bottom of the camper and then press black go up to the corner Go right down to the bottom of the camper and then press black. Now all you do is go into position and you go backwards, 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 backwards until you see the beginnings of your amazing invitation. Now you go to the text box and you go to add a heading. So this is a good size but we might want it bigger. We're going to invite you to Sarah's party. Okay. Now, I'm going to change the font and I'm going to change the spacing. It's easy to do. All you do is select. Then you go up to this little spacing bar and you move the spacing in to how you wish it to be. You can even do the spacing, but that's okay. As that is, let's have a look. So far, so good. Let's change the color. Birthday. Let's change the color to a gold. And we can go straight into yellow and then double click it or you can go up here and then you can move to sort of a goldy color or a light, lighter goldy color. So that's, that's fine. I like that. But the font is still a bit meh. So let's go up and find something I've already downloaded from Creative Fabrica or anywhere else. There's some great ones on here too. But I want a sort of thicker one. So Archetype Bayer might be good. That's okay. Let's go and find something a little bit more up my alley. This one's quite pretty. That one's very pretty. Let's use it. This one. All right, so Sarah's 21st birthday party. Let's go and add another heading. And above, we require your presence at or to, and we're going to make it smaller. Again, we're going to move this together. We're going to make it slightly smaller. And we're going to change the font to something a little bit more. This one's okay, it's pretty standard. Let's go and add another heading. And here we're going to put the address. So we're going to put one, two, three. Let's make it smaller and we're going to make it pretty straight. Or you could go back to using this one up here. So just to keep it consistent, we're going to make the same one up here, then there. Now over here, I'm just going to put a casual one. So casual attire or you might put no presents, please. Because some people have everything they need. And you can change the color of the font just for a point of difference. So far, so good. All right, let's center those. I'm eyeballing all this 
to be honest. Now I'm going to steal some filigree. I'm going to steal some elements from other birthday invitations. So I'm going to go to design. I'm putting invitation and you've got these amazing ones uh, with the black background. So we're going to go down and have a look at this one, add a new page. These little drops are really nice. So let's grab some of those and see what it looks like. It may work, it may not. So far so good. Let's make two of them. Paste. We're going to flip these or we could just leave that as is. That's actually quite cute. All right, so far, so good. Liking that already. We require your presence at, so that's, let's drop that down a little bit and drop this over. Don't get standing, is that you can actually use Magic Write. Now I'm going to move my screen up and you can see this little button at the bottom here. It gives you some options. So I'm going to tap on the wording that I want changed. Your attendance is required at. Go over here and then rewrite and see what it comes up with. We need you to attend Sarah's 21st birthday party. I'm going to do that one more time. Rewrite. Your presence is required at Sarah's 21st birthday party. So it quite likes that. Grab this. Instead of no presence, let's see what it says instead if I rewrite it. Kindly refrain from bringing any birthday gifts. So actually, so this might be my final piece. Sarah's birthday party invitation. I might make this smaller. As you can see, I've added in the date, forgot before. I'm going to actually go up to spacing, which is up here. Bring it a bit more together. And okay, so this invitation looks ready to go to me. What you can do is go to your printers and get this printed off. If you send this to your email, put it on a USB stick, put it on your phone, that is good to go, PDF it, and you can print as many as you like. Remember, you can make any invites you like using Canvas templates. You can use pro or even non-pro version. Enjoy, guys. Get creating and have a blessed day.